How to Own a Piece of the Moon, the crazy true story of lunar real estate and NFTs. Get ready for an amazing journey. Have you ever thought you could own a piece of the moon? Sounds impossible, right? Let's go back to the 1970s and meet Dennis Hope, a man from California facing severe financial difficulties. Dennis discovered an interesting point while reading the 1967 Outer Space Treaty. The treaty stated that no country could claim ownership of the moon or other celestial bodies. But what about individuals? Dennis had a eureka moment. If no country can own the moon, maybe I can. To test his theory, Dennis filed a claim for the moon at the San Francisco County Court. The court, probably amused, filed the document. Do you believe people actually bought pieces of the moon? With the court's approval, Dennis founded the Lunar Embassy and began selling lunar land. He provided each buyer with a charming ownership certificate. People actually started buying pieces of the moon. Can you believe Tom Cruise owns Lunar Land? The star of Top Gun is now the star of Top Moon. So, who actually bought this Lunar Land? Hollywood stars like Tom Cruise and Nicolas Cage bought it. Nicolas Cage even joked about building his weird museum on the moon. But soon, people began to question the legitimacy of these sales. Was it all a big scam? Was Dennis Hope the only one to turn a quirky idea into business success? Not at all. Let's explore other speculative investments. Alex Two's Million Dollar Homepage, the Brooklyn Bridge Scam, and the Pet Rock Craze. These are all examples of people investing in essentially worthless things. These are all examples of people investing in essentially worthless things. What can we learn from these speculative bubbles? Speculation and hype can cause values to skyrocket. At the peak of the Dutch tulip mania, a single tulip bulb was worth as much as a house. But the market soon collapsed, leaving many bankrupt. More recently, NFTs have seen similar price drops. For instance, the famous Disaster Girl photo sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars, but its value has since plummeted. Bitcoin also experienced dramatic fluctuations. In late 2021, Bitcoin soared to nearly $60,000 but later crashed, causing significant losses for many investors. What lessons can we learn from Dennis Hope's lunar land sales and recent speculative bubbles? Firstly, sometimes the most absurd ideas can turn into incredible opportunities. However, those opportunities don't always lead to success. Investing in new ideas always requires caution. Unique and fresh items may attract attention, but they are equally speculative and volatile. Investment opportunities can bring potential profits but they can also lead to significant losses. Investment guru Warren Buffett says investment returns go to the patient. Economists like Robert Schiller and Paul Krugman also warn of the dangers of speculative assets like Bitcoin. Investments should always be made with caution and in assets with intrinsic value. The first rule of channel is subscribe channel. Second rule of channel is click like. This channel will make you smart.